Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is my NXL IGCSE exam series two. Expanding brackets. Let's do it. So I always like to draw these little arcs on my brackets, so I know that I'm timesing everything inside the bracket by everything outside the bracket. So the first one is going to give me 12, because 4 times 3 is 12, and t times t is t squared. And the next line is going to give me uh, minus 8, because 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, and there's just a t there. Job done. Should I put them in here? I think I should. I always like to put the answers on the answer line. That's what it's there for. Okay, let's keep going. Aha, double bracket. I like to draw my little crescent moon. Looks like that, or like a lobster claw. So we start by doing 5x times x, which is 5x squared. We then do 5x times 4, which is 20x. We then do minus 2 times by x, which is minus 2x. And then we do minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8. So what have we got inside the bracket? That's oh, not inside the bracket. What am I talking about? These two terms here. These two can be collected. 20 minus 2 gives me 18. So it's plus 18x. And then minus 8 is a constant term. So we have an x squared term, we have an x term, and we have a constant term. Beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Little crescent moon. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x, which we can just write as x. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and minus 3 times plus 1 is minus 3. The 2 in the middle, if you do this method, will always be needed to be collected and that's 1x minus 3x which gives me minus 2x so we've got our x squared there and we've got a minus 2x in the middle and then we've got a minus 3 there so voila that has been expanded okay this one's a bit cheeky you've got to be careful here because this the y is the other way around uh, it's, in the, it's in, not in a natural position shall we say um, so that's okay, we could deal with that. We'll start, um, as always, we'll do y times two, which is two y. We'll do y times minus y, which is minus y squared. Four times two is eight, and four times minus y is minus four y. Ugh, looks a bit horrible, but never fear. Let's look at the x or the y squared term first. It's a minus y squared. Okay, so that can go on our answer line because there's no other y squares to collect. And then let's look at the y terms. There's a positive 2y and minus 4y. So positive 2 minus 4 gives me minus 2. And then there's that plus 8 hanging around there. Lovely. Okay, a little bit of expanding and simplifying. So again, we've got this... Uh, to expand this bracket, which gives me 3 times 2 is 6, and x times x is x squared. 3 times 3 is 9, and there's an x there, so that's 9x. And then, this is the, care the, this is the important part, we take the minus with us on both of the, um, the curves. So minus x times 3x is minus 3x squared and minus x times positive 5 is minus 5x. So don't forget to take the minus with you because so many people forget to do that on the second term. Okay, let's collect x squared. 6 minus 3 is 3. x's. 9 minus 5 is 4, so plus 4x. Uh, we could factorise that if we wanted to, but it doesn't ask us to, so I'm not going to bother. Okay, another one like this, and notice again, the second bracket is uh, times by a minus in order to try and trip us up. 4x times 2x is 8x squared, and 4x times 5 is 20x. Minus 3x times 2x is minus 6x squared, and minus 3x times minus 3 is positive, because two negatives make a positive when they times together, 
9x. Look at the x squareds. 8 minus 6 is 2x squared. 20 plus 9 is plus 29x. Beautiful. Okay, a triple bracket. So I'm going to ignore the n on the outside, and I'm just going to multiply out my bracket as I would do a normal double bracket. So that gives me n times 3n, which is 3n squared, n times 5, which is 5n, and minus 4 times 3n is minus 12n, and minus 4 times 5 is minus 20. I'm then going to collect the ends in the middle. So I've got 5 minus 12, which is minus 7 in total. And now I'm just going to reintroduce that n on the outside. And I'm going to multiply everything inside the bracket by n. So this gives me n times 3n is 3n cubed. n times minus 7n is minus 7n squared. And n times minus 20 is minus 20n. So we get 3n cubed minus 7n squared minus 20n. Voila. Okay, right, more practice, because this one is exactly the same. No, it's not exactly the same, it's very similar. X times X, X squared. X times minus 3, minus 3X. Minus 5 times X is minus 5X, and minus 5 times minus 3 is positive 15. Collect the X's in the middle. We've got a minus 3 and a minus 5, so that makes a minus 8 in total. And then remember that there is a 2x outside. So let's multiply everything inside by 2x. So this gives me 2x cubed minus 16x squared and plus 30x. And voila, we have our expanded bracket. Beautiful. Oh! We go again. We go again at Excel. What a popular question. Okay, let's do this a bit quicker this time. 6x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. 4x outside. And we then get 24x cubed minus 28x squared minus 12x. That will do. That will do. Oh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> bosh, bosh, bosh. I'll tell you what, let's, let's do it a different way this time because we've just done this question so many times now. Let's multiply 5x into the bracket first. Why not? Let's see what happens. 5x squared plus 10x becomes the first bracket now. And now we can just expand out this double bracket like we would do normally. So this would give me 15x cubed. It would give me minus 20x squared. It would give me plus 30x squared. And it would give me minus 40x. Collect the two terms in the middle, which this time happen to be x squared. And we get minus 20 plus 30 is plus 10 minus 40x. Beautiful. Ah, yes, something slightly different. Aha, right, what do we do here? Let's just multiply out the first two brackets. x squared plus oh, minus 2x plus 4x minus 8. Um, that gives me x squared plus 2x, because minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2. And that is done. And then we have to remind ourselves that there is also another bracket still knocking around. And then what I do is I, I do uh, multiply all of these by x along the top row like that. And then all of them in this bracket by one. And this way I can guarantee that I'm not going to miss any out. So times it by x 
it's just going to give me all of these but with an extra x like so and times it by one well that's nice and straightforward it's just exactly the same like this perfect okay um, there is a single x cubed the x squared there'll be two uh, and add those two together two and one make three so three x squared and the x's again there'll be two add those two together minus eight plus two is minus six x and then the constant term will be on its own at the end okay last one here we go trickiest one this times this this times this this times this and this times this so this gives me 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 3 is 15. Minus x times 2x is minus 2x squared. And minus uh, x times 3 is minus 3x. Okay, let's simplify. So we've got minus 2x squared. And then let's add together these x's. That gives me a total of 7. Because 10 minus 3 is 7. And I've also got 15 as well. Now we can't forget about the x plus 4 on the end. And then what I would do is I will times all of these by x. Like that. And I'll need to times everything as well by 4. Like this. So timesing by x is just going to keep it exactly the same but up the power by 1. So it'll be, uh, first one will be x cubed, then x squared, and then this one will be x to the 1. Okay, um, and then times it by 4, well it's just going to times the coefficient of course by 4. So that gives me minus 8x squared, it gives me plus 28x, and it gives me plus 60. Okay, and then let us collect up the terms. So we have a minus 2x cubed. The x squared, I've got 7x minus 8x is minus 1x. Sorry, 7x squared minus 8x squared is minus 1x squared. And then I've got 15x plus 28x, which is 43. So plus 43x and then the 60 on its own at the end. Bosh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.